In this particular video, we're going to take a look at using Poe.com to create a chatbot. We're going to cover what Poe.com is, what a chatbot is, how you make one, and some ways to use it in your classroom. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over to Poe.com. If you've never heard of Poe.com, uh, it's got a lot of functions similar to, to Zapier, but it allows you to harness the power of several different generative AI platforms all in one place. Poe.com is free. Once you log in, create an account, you'll see all the different things that it offers you up here. As you scroll down, you can see all the different bots that you can create, including uh, YouTube bots, uh, joke bots, history bots. There's just so many different things that you can start applying. So depending on what your discipline or what the domain is that you teach, there's probably already going to be a pre-programmed bot that you can take advantage of and customize slightly in order to introduce that into your classroom. Uh, so how great would it be to have your kids uh, your students converse with a historical figure um, or if you're trying to teach something but you want it to be funny and entertaining you can include one of those humorous bots as well and just give it some parameters about what it should talk about and what it should include when it's telling its jokes or being humorous so i just want to take a second here and scroll through so that uh, you can pause where you would like to and uh, begin looking at some of the things but there's the prompt bots so if you're not sure how to prompt yet and you're unfamiliar with prompting and kind of the slater model you're able to get some assistance with that. You can ask the bot, here's what I want to create, and it will give you a good prompt to go input into something like Midjourney or Bing um, to get the output that you seek. So now let's talk about making our bot. Uh, so what I did is I created a bot for my classroom. This bot is for tutoring. Now the particular courses that I've introduced this bot into um, are not super academically rigorous in terms of they're not uh, like math or something that's going to be generally on the more academically rigorous side. They're more on reflection, more on uh, reading, research, and literature. So what we do is we start out here by creating a chatbot. We're going to edit the description of the chatbot so that folks will know uh, what they should expect when interacting with your bot. I also let them know that they can contact me and I provide my uh, school email address so that they can contact me if they're not finding the answers that they want from their bot. You can choose which generative AI platform you want to work with. If you pay for ChatGPT4 or Claude2, you can use those. I'm just going to use simple ChatGPT3.5. Next thing you want to do is use a prompt. And so you're going to tell the bot who it is and what it's doing. I use the Slater model, so I give it a structure of how I want it to respond. Uh, what the length of the response is, uh, the audience. So I let them know that it's going to be college students that they're working with. I give it the action. I want it to be a tutor. Uh, the temperature, I'm just letting it know that it, it should provide accurate answers here. Don't want it to be very creative. Uh, and then its role. So I'm pretty specific about what its role is. And then also notice I told it not to give math answers, but instead to ask them what they got and then try to reteach them. You can adjust some other parameters as well, but once you're done, you just go ahead and generate. You'll also notice that I created a picture, so I made it kind of a teenage college student uh, person to make it a little bit more personal and relatable. So again, students can kind of connect to an instructor slash co-instructor uh, in the course. I'm also pretty good about letting it know that, uh, or letting students know that it's not as smart as a subject matter expert, meaning the instructor. So it should ask about they should ask about the tutoring that it receives from the, the bot. So now we've got our bot, all we do is we go ahead and share it and it provides a link to the bot. I can import that into my LMS. So again, when you're creating your prompt, do go ahead and use the Slater model. Um, tell it the structure, the length, the audience, the action, the temperature, and the role so that that bot knows how to act and what parameters it should use in responding to inquiries from your students. And so just to pause here, I would uh, really love it if you'd follow me or if you would interact with me, especially leave some comments so that I can learn from you as well. What do you use Poe for? There are other tutorials for what Poe can do on the channel. But in this case, we've made a free chatbot that your students have access to when they have momentum for learning. And you don't even have to be present. As always, thanks for watching.